Beitai Cuisine, Wikipedia article audio. Beitai Cuisine is rich, diverse, and eclectic, in part because the Beitai people that create them were composed from numbers of regional immigrants that coming from various places in the archipelago, as well as Chinese, Indian, Arab, and European traders, visitors, and immigrants that were attracted to the port city of Batavia since centuries ago. The Beitai cuisine developed and evolved with influences from various cuisine traditions brought by waves of newcomers to the port city on the north coast of western Java. From the small port of Sunda Kalapa, it grew into an active hub of international trade, primarily involving Indonesian, Chinese, Indian, and Arab traders. By early 16th century, drawn by the spice trade, the Portuguese were the first Europeans to arrive, followed by the Dutch later in the same century. During colonial Vok era, foreign communities were kept in enclaves under Dutch colonial rule, as the result the culinary concentration grew in each area. Tana Abang for Arab cuisine, the Glodok and Kuninan area for Chinese food and Tagu in North Jakarta for Portuguese. History and Influences Ingredients and Cooking Method Beitai cuisine is in fact really similar to Peranakan cuisine, as both are hybrid cuisine heavily influenced by Chinese and Malay, as well as Arab and European cuisine to neighboring Sundanese and Javanese cuisine. Nasiaduk for example, which is a savory rice cooked in coconut milk and served with several side dishes, may be a local version of the Malay dish Nasi Lemak. On the other hand, Asanan, cured and brined pickled vegetables, and Ruhak Juai, vegetables served with shredded dried squid and peanut sauce, demonstrate Chinese influences. Because of this common heritage, some of Beitai cuisines, such as Asanan and Lantung Kap Go Met, are shared with Chinese Indonesian. Beitai cuisine also shares some recipes and dishes with neighboring Sundanese, such as both of them are familiar with Sayur Asam, Gado Gado and Seamer Yenkel. Another examples are Nasi Kabuli and Soto Beitai that uses Minyak Salmon, which indicates Arab or Muslim Indian influences. A gastronomy expert suggests that some Beitai dishes can describe the past condition of Beitai people reside in Batavia. For example, Karak Telahar was created due to the low quality of local glutinous rice, with the egg and other toppings added to make it more tasty and satisfying. Soto Tangkar which today is a meat soup, was mostly made from the broth of goat rib cage bones in the past because meat was expensive, or the common population of Batavia were too poor to afford some meat back then. Today, many authentic Beitai dishes are hard to find even in its native land. This is partly because as a cosmopolitan city, Jakarta also features dishes from many far-flung parts of Indonesia, as well as international cuisines which is a myriad dishes for Beitai cuisine to compete with. Moreover, Beitai community were pushed out of the inner city to the marginal suburbs in and around Greater Jakarta in the wave of development. Nevertheless, some Beitai restaurants are striving to preserve their heritage cuisine, such as rare gabus pukung, and pakak gabus, snakehead fish in pakak sauce. Beitai cuisine uses rice as staples, numbers of its dishes are revolved around rice, either steamed, cooked in coconut milk as nasi huduk, or compressed as kitapat sayur or lantung sayur rice cakes in vegetables soup. As a Muslim-majority community, Beitai people favor beef, mutton, and goat meat, as they adhere to Islamic halal dietary law which forbid pork consumption. Fishes are consumed too. 
Interestingly for a coastal city there are hardly any seafood dishes in Beitai cuisine. But there are plenty of freshwater fish dishes, using local varieties of snakehead fish and carp. Popular Beitai dishes include Soto Beitai, Sayur Asam, Sop Iga Sapi and Karak Telaur. Most of Beitai dishes are cooked in deep-fried, stir-fried, barbecued or braised methods, and feature a delicate balance of sweet, sour, and salty flavors. Dishes Asanan Beitai, pickled vegetables in peanut sauce. Gado Gado, vegetables in peanut sauce. Snacks Karak Telaur, spicy coconut omelette. Keto prak, vegetables, tofu, rice vermicelli, and rice cake in peanut sauce. Keto pat sayur, keto pat rice cake and spicy vegetables soup. Beverages Lontong sayur Laksa Jakarta style Mi kong kong, noodle with water spinach. Nasi goreng kaming kabansiri Nasi Ulam Bay Thai Ruhak Juai Sayur Asam Bay Thai version Soto Bay Thai, a Bay Thai beef meat and offals in rich and creamy milk or coconut milk soup Soto Keiki Cow's Foot Tendons and Cartilage Soto, a Bay Thai specialty Roti Buia Crocodile-shaped bread is often served in festive occasions.